Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Happy Visas. My name is Philip Port, and today I'm going to be showing you how to teach English online. You know, I did a video about, uh, you know, teaching English in Russia, and then I get questions like, how do I teach online? What do I do? So I'm, I'm just going to show you my style, my technique, how I teach. Very simple, not rocket science. It's very, very easy. I'm more like a, a, a training provider. Um, I teach business English. Uh, I teach conversational English. And basically, most of the lessons are me just asking questions. Um, so I'm going to show you how I teach phrasal verbs, how I teach topics about money, for example. I'm going to show you all of that. Um, and I'm, I'm going to show you how I share the screen. And I'm going to explain why. I built my own little website, my own little templates, because the, the wording is much bigger. I, I couldn't find anything with with bigger words. So when I when I share my screen, my, my students can easily read it and see it. So guys, follow me. I'm now going to show you how to teach online. So as you can see. Um, I've got the dreaded phrasal verbs. So if I had a student, I would be saying to them, okay, um, could you read the first phrasal verb for me? And they would say, aim at, to point a gun at someone. And then I would ask them, that, then I would say, okay, could you read number one for me, please? And they would read, our marketing, marketing campaign is aimed at single mothers. And then I would ask them, you know, to explain, you know, have you ever done marketing before? You know, who does your employer, who does the company you work for? You know, who do they aim at for their consumers? Are they, is it single men? Is it single mothers? Is it married women? Aim at, <clears throat> you know, then I would explain, we aim to win the World Cup this year. Uh, don't aim that weapon at me. And I would ask some questions. What do they think it means? Um, can they give me an example? Um, and and you, you don't know where things are going to lead. Uh, you, you know, then I might go to the next one, ask out. Um, can you believe Brian asked me out on a romantic date, <clears throat> but he's not my type? And I would make a joke, then I would say, yeah, I'm, uh, you know, so many women have told me that, uh, uh, you know, I've asked them out on a date and I'm just not their type. Has that ever happened to you? So that, that, that's what I, I do. I always ask some questions. And th this is all my own content. What, what I do, I go to other websites, I take the content, I reword it. So I do apologize for any spelling mistakes. I do it very quickly. So I reword it and obviously I make it so that my students can see it, that it's well spaced. Um, I just use Wix. Um, <clears throat> it's a good way uh, for me to teach English. And then, then back down. I'm always backing down from my wife. I tell my students, back down. Can can you give me an example when you back down last? You know, maybe it was uh, with a work colleague. Maybe it was with your wife. And then I listen. So <clears throat> you know, I try to listen 60% of the time. I try to get my students talking, trying to give me an example. You know, he bottled it. What does bottled it mean? He got scared. Often we're about to do a parachute jump and we don't jump and we, we bottled it. I, I explain, you know, phrasal verbs are informal. I do explain that, that, you know, if you're gonna go have a few beers down the pub after work, everybody speaks informal language. I explain all of that to them. So self-explanatory, just ask them questions, what they need, go through it, et cetera, et cetera. Um, I'm now going to go you know, quickly to idioms. Uh, a blessing in disguise. I'm disguised as Batman, I tell my students. Um, a blessing from God. Um, you know, have you ever had a situation, it looked bad at first, but actually it's quite a good thing that it happened. You know, so I will, you know, ask them for examples in their life uh, when something was a blessing from God uh, disguised as a big problem, but actually it was quite good. So, you know, and then I explain a dime is a nickel, <clears throat> a dozen eggs is 12. It means it's extremely common. So and I just go through 
all um, the idioms. Um, you, you know, you've got content just on phrasal verbs forever. You've got contents on idioms forever. Um, you, you know, don't beat around the bush. Get to the point and say what you mean. Usually, it can be in an uncomfortable situation. And, you, you know, we just go through that. Then... <clears throat> You know, um, I've got other topics. Um, if, if I click down here, uh, I've got a topic on money. What comes to mind when you hear the word money? I ask my students. What comes to mind? Um, you know, does money make you happy? Um, you know, why when people win the lottery, they lose all their friends? Uh, why does it make them unhappy? Uh, give it to me if it does. If, if money ever makes you unhappy. I ask my students, you know, and I get them to read, by the way. I get them to read the phrase, of, can you read A for me? What comes to mind when you hear the word money? Is money important and how important is it to you? Um, you know, I, I never had any women in my life until I started to become successful in my career, in my business. Do women find successful men more attractive? Um, that's another question I ask. Um, you know, why was it I started to get the girls when I became successful? Um, I don't think they were after my money, but um, I think we do become more attractive. So have a little banter with your students. Have a little bit of a joke with your students. Bear in mind how old they are. Um, you know, take into account their age. Obviously, uh, you don't want to be having these conversations with you know under 18s. Let's say. Um, <clears throat> And, and then, you, you know, like money doesn't grow on trees. My wife thinks, thinks it does the way she spends. You know, what about your wife? What about your husband? Uh, does he think money grows on trees? Um, you know, does money come easy to some and not so easy to others? Can you give examples? And you're just asking questions all the time. So as you can see, it's not rocket science. Do your idioms, do your phrasal verbs. And last but not least, I'm going to switch. I'm going to switch now. Um, you know, I, I get a lot of content um, uh, from um, uh, uh, things like here. I'm just going to click on here now, entrepreneur. So you can see like the Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos, and we talk about them. Uh, it just goes on forever and ever. Um, you know the the <clears throat> yeah. So I've now switched to uh, famous founders, famous entrepreneurs, famous business people, and I just talk about all of these people. Um, you know, um, talk about you know the history of Bill Gates. Talk about Elon Musk. Now, when let's let's say you choose Elon Musk, um, you 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 can see. Uh, it's not as clear as my website that I built. So I like to take the content from here. I, I like to take the content and just put it into my Wix because then I can make the, the words a lot bigger, um, a lot more clearer so that people can see easily during the, the lesson. So then I would say, who is Elon Musk to you? Is he you know, a, a, a great inventor? Is he a great businessman? You know, This is his early life. Did you know he came from South Africa? Um, and then we go through, you know, the companies that he's founded. Uh, have you ever heard of Zip2 Corporation? Do you know what that is? Uh, everybody's heard of PayPal. So I ask them, I ask them <clears throat> continuously, I ask them questions. So you can take the lazy option if you're happy teaching with th this size of font, like PayPal, if your students can read it and see it and they're not on their iPhones and things like that, um, because don't forget, you're always going to be getting them to read the text. Um, and, and remember, you're listening 40% of the time. Uh, sorry, you, 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 you're, you're, you're speaking 40% of the time and you're listening 60% of the time. Sorry. So, yeah, so I just find interesting websites, take their content, try to reword it if I can, put it into my website, make the fonts a lot bigger. And, and that's how I you know, teach. And if, if you are thinking about teaching in Russia, I use Repetit. They always send me clients very, very good. You can use 
uh, profi.ru, uh, repetit.ru, profi.ru, uh, hh, headhunters.ru, hh.ru. Um, you know, you know, do what I'm doing, do a video on um, teaching, do a video on, you know, working in China as a teacher. You, you will um, pick up students. You, you, will, you, you know, people contact you. Um, you know, as I said, I am a, uh, I'm trying to do, um, I, I am a, a training provider and I've picked up some big accounts. I picked up in the old days, KFC teaching, Crisp, uh, Crispy Creme, uh, the donut place I picked up teaching. Um, so I'm killing two birds with one stone. I'm, I'm three birds with one stone. I'm meeting wonderful people, wonderful friends. I'm, I'm meeting the top executives of the top companies. Um, and often I meet them for coffee now and we've remained in contact, remain friends, even after I stopped teaching them. Um, and I, I picked up the account and, and I get paid for it. Um, it, it. You know, I get paid quite well for teaching. Um, and it's a good laugh. I, and, and another thing, I learn. I learn so much from them. If we're doing like, if we're talking about, you know, business English and uh, they, they educate me, really do educate me. So... Anyway, guys, I hope you like this video. Uh, please subscribe. I do need subscribers. Um, I'm trying to be uh, an entrepreneur, an influencer on the internet. Uh, thank you very much, guys. Cheers.